So you know when there's something you really want to do and you just can't get yourself to go and do it and you just really put it off for a while and then you finally go and do it and you're like, wow, that wasn't so bad. I'm really going to start doing this a lot. I'm going to start killing it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to finally be consistent at this. I'm going to go for it. You may experience this when you're going to the gym for the first time and you're like, Man, I've been putting off the gym for so long and it was so easy to do and I'm gonna do it every day for the next whatever. And then you don't do it. You give yourself that pep talk, your dopamine is pumping through your veins and you're like, oh yeah, this is it. This is the time I'm finally gonna do it. Well, that's me with YouTube. I start a YouTube video, I'll record it, I'll feel good about it, then I'll look at it and I'll be like, uh, you know, probably not, you know? Uh, I don't know about this one. And then, you know, it sits on my memory card or in my computer and I don't look at it for a few months and I'm like, you know, YouTube will come when it comes. I'll figure out how to do it on my own time. I'll get to it, you know, maybe. No rush. I'm doing fine without it. You know, I'm a little bit nervous sometimes. Anyway, back in January or December, I posted a video and I was like, this is it. I'm going to start posting consistently. And I had like a small, small goal of doing one video a month. And that's when I did my Cocoa Bomb video. And then I did my Starbucks video. And I was like, it's easy. I could do this. I could do this for sure. Let me just uh, plan it out a little bit. I talked with my friend Emily. I was like, Give me some ideas, lay it on me, let's see what we can do. One of our ideas was to do a mystery box unboxing. So back in January, I gave my friend Emily some cash and she went to town and she bought a bunch of stuff online and put it all into a mystery box and this is what it's going to be. It's been sitting in here, it's now May, it's like mid-May right now. It's been sitting in here since January and I haven't opened it and I haven't done anything and it's just been sitting in here <laughs> so I'm gonna open it today and we're gonna find out what's in it together so I'm gonna grab the box and I'm gonna I don't know I've never really watched a mystery box unboxing so I'm gonna wing it this is kind of heavy um, I'll just show you guys the box first so she wrapped it really beautifully. <laughs> Lots of different wrapping paper that goes together. Cute. And she made a heart out of this one. Uh, so yeah, this is what we're working with today. It honestly is pretty big. Moment of truth. This is the moment I've been waiting for since this was put on my doorstep. And I wish Emily could be here while I open everything and everything is individually wrapped. Oh, there's a note. <laughs> I hope you have so much fun opening the box. Please LOL at how bad I am at wrapping. I got some stuff through Instagram ads, Meyer, and other random online places. Enjoy, heart M. Oh geez. I don't know if this is supposed to be like this. Hopefully it is. I'm gonna open it together. We have a square box here. There's, there's a lot of stuff in here. Ooh, cute little nails. I don't know what to do with that. These are press on nails that you cure with the um, UV light. And then next up, I think this goes together. There's even a little gel lamp that comes with it. So, first thing, press on nails, gel lamp. And it was all taped together on purpose. Next up, we have something that is bell shaped. Keto friendly birthday cake mix. So you add cold water and butter and then you stir it and microwave it and it makes a little birthday cup, birthday cake cup. Cute. Ooh. Ooh, I just broke it. This is reusable cotton swabs. That sounds kind of nasty. Soft and flexible tips. Um, 
I just saved the planet from up to a thousand cotton swabs. This is kind of cool. I've never even thought about this. How do I open this without breaking it? All this stuff looks like an Instagram ad, actually. Hmm. It's like a sponge. Do I wash this? Use less swab like you would use a normal cotton swab, although we do advise that you swab responsibly. Okay. Well, you just clean it with soap and water. I don't know if I trust it. This one has textures on it. Um, this would be cool if you're like having a night out and then you get a little emotional and you start crying and then you have to wipe your makeup off. I have no idea. I don't think cleaning your ears out with this and then like washing it with soap and water would be that cool. And I also don't know what Q-tips are useful for besides that, but it's a good thought, I guess. Okay, this is acne patches. This is actually something that I really wanted. And these are heart-shaped because you're supposed to love your imperfections. Um, it's kind of gross, the explanation on this. Acne heart patch visibly shows it's working by absorbing pus and fluids. Cute. I think all of this stuff is very useful and I'm really happy, honestly. <laughs> what is? Oh, cute. She even pulled off the clearance tag. <sighs> what the f Okay, I'm just gonna have to break it. There are cute little mini scrunchies, and these will be perfect for days like today when I have to put my little bangs up. Okay, next. I remember Emily texting me, and she was like, have you ever had astronaut food? And I was like, yeah. And then I thought, she's probably putting that in my mystery box. And we got a vanilla ice cream sandwich. These are just like freeze dried. And then we have a Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Delicious. These are really good. So I'm glad I got these two. Dude, she probably had to buy so much tape. Oh God. Forget the gym, pump some iron with this mini weight set. Kit includes one iron barbell, four rubber weight plates, 60G metal kettlebell weight, uh, one resistance band, one mini sweatband, and 40 page mini book. My fingers are literally about to be jacked, so if you see me on the street and my fingers are jacked, just know that it's because of this. This is ridiculous. Ridiculously cute. All right, let's see this little guidebook. So this is a workout program for my fingers. Next up, this is heavy. I thought it was a candle, and it is a candle. Oh, wait, there's a note in here. It smells really good. <laughs> she said, I did smell this with a mask on, so if you hate it, my bad. No, actually, it's really good. This is Cactus Blossom and Pear. Next up, I can't believe how cute all this stuff is. The aesthetic of Emily is unmatched. And you guys will honestly probably meet Emily soon. I'm going to Florida with her. So maybe I'll vlog that. I don't know if that's actually of interest, but it's my life. Here we have a uh, so cute and so fun pop and cookin Tenoshi Ramen. I think this is mini foods. It includes mango pudding, ramen, gyoza dumpling. I don't know actually how to pronounce that. Gyoza dumpling, spring rolls, and Honestly, hopefully it tastes good. Mini baby food. I think this is another one. It is. Ew. Um, pop and cook in Tenoshi hamburger. This looks not good. And there's no way this should be in a little, is this supposed to be like sweets and then so this is like fake, it's like cake basically, like little candy. I thought it was actual food and it was going to taste like this stuff. I am a fan of Emma Chamberlain. And here we have Chamberlain coffee. Good vibes only, coffee tastes better when it's made responsibly and ethically, true. Emily knows me so well. Here's another thing. Okay. 
a little succulent. It's fake, but it's cute. It can go on my little shelf of trinkets over here. Cute, where should I put it? Cute. Ew. Chompers, crunchy seaweed chips, barbecue, naturally delicious. This whole package is 80 calories. It's good. I don't know if I would, you know, kind of taste, mm. You can actually taste the seaweed, but it reminds me of sushi. So it's not bad. Okay. Cute. This is a necklace with an A on it for me. Alice, that's my name. Hmm. I think this is a little ice cream cone, a chocolate ice cream cone. And I don't know if I actually told Emily that I love these, but I might have. But if I didn't tell her, this is impressive. And I'm gonna break it. How do you even wrap this? If I saw this and I had to wrap this, I would not know what to do. Kono Snack Chocolate Parties. This one has, I think, M&M's on the top. All right, all right, what is this? Balmy Bento Lip Balm and Scrub. I have a chapstick addiction, so the packaging is cute. It's pineapple flavor on the bottom. Ooh, that smells really good. The bottom has the scrub, and then it twists in, and then you have the balm on top. And there's a little mirror. What else do we got? I wonder if she put the best stuff at the bottom. Because if so, that's a good tactic. Ooh. Some gel pens. These are actually some of my favorite pens. And these are all cute colors. So I'm gonna journal with them and I'm gonna love it. What is this? Oh, a mini pot? A mini pot. That's what this is. P Joy Cookies and Cream Vanilla Cream Filled Chocolate Biscuit Sticks. That sounds like my cup of tea. Mm. Okay, I think this might go along with this. Maybe. Nope. Cheeky Stamp. This is the same brand as this. This also looks like something you would find in an Instagram ad. Okay. Whoa. So it has the pigment down below and then the top part is the stamp and it closes together. Another cute little guy. They're hanging out now. Ooh. I think Emily sent me this and asked me if I would ever use this. I can't remember though. This is Unicorn CBD Whipped Body Butter Soothing Glow. I love a body butter and it looks so cute. Ooh, this boy thick, very thick. That is definitely butter. It smells good. Oh, I should have not used that. I was gonna record everything separately. Fancy package. We got a double opening going on. Ooh, this is what smelled good. I knew I smelled something lush. We have a cute bath bomb. We have a butterball bath bomb. And then we have a goddess bath bomb. Then we also have scrubby body butter and then a tisty tosty bath bomb. There's so much stuff in here. Ooh, reusable makeup remover pads. But I actually used to have these. 30 of them too, dang. These will be really good when I travel and I can just pack tiny stuff to wash my face with. And then there is like a little laundry bag. So you put all of them in here after they're dirty and then you just put them in the wash and you wash them. This one has a note that says tiki. 
Turkish delight. I think I posted this on my secondary Instagram account, Pineapple Bart. If you know, you know. But I was obsessing over Turkish delight and I really wanted to try it. And then I tried it. It's not that good, but what's that one movie? Narnia really, really hypes it up. Edmund is literally just munching them down like they're the best thing in the world and they look like the best thing ever. And I want, like I've always wanted to try them because of that scene. And they're not even, the, the, they're not even that good. I think I should eat one just to describe the flavor. I don't even know where she bought this. Usually they're rose flavored though. I think these have pistachios in them too. But Edmund in the movie is literally like, could I have some Turkish delight? And then she's like, of course you can have some Turkish delight, my dear. Here, munch on these. And then he's like, oh. so um, these are rock hard. These aren't as bad as the other ones that I had. So it's basically just a sugar ball with pistachios in it. They're literally stuck in my teeth so bad. Oh my God. I'm literally begging for a cavity over here. Oh my God. Animal Crossing. I'm a little bit late on this one, but I do have a Switch. So now I can play this game. And I don't know, I've never played this before, so. I don't really know what you do. I know you like build an island and you like make a campsite maybe. And you basically like catch bugs and trade stuff with people. But everybody already was on this trend. So I'm late, but that's a good mystery box item. Emily honestly might be better at YouTube than me because she's literally already thinking ahead and ripping off her address from these. It's just impressive. It's not even winter anymore. <laughs> But uh, I got some really cute muckluck cozy mittens. Oh my God, these are so good. I had muckluck slippers, so I'm already a fan of this brand. And then I also have a Carhartt little beanie. And I guess, whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? It says it's a rectangular baker. I think it's just cute, so that's probably it. Oh, I thought we were on the last thing, but there's some tiny straggling in the bottom. That's what I'm talking about. We have a caramel cono, caramel cream, little pop. Last but not least, this feels like an article of clothing. It's not. Reusable Ziplocs. We have three sizes. Cool. This is actually something that I really should already have. I don't know if this stuff is more of a representation of me or what Emily thinks that I would like or if it's more of a representation of her. I don't even think it matters because all this stuff is really good, so. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I know that I don't really have a theme to my channel, but my theme is this is my life, this is what I like to do, and I'm having a good time doing it, and that's about it. So I'm honestly just out here trying to have a good time, trying to hang out, and trying to do things that I wouldn't normally do, but I have the opportunity to do because you guys support me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for always supporting me and being here. I really appreciate it. And look out for next week's video. Bye.